Well, hi, everyone, and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I was going through my comments on the videos the other day, and I came across this one from Daniel Connolly. And I thought I'd share it with you all. I was touched. It says, Hi, Bob. It's me, Daniel, the Common Sense Guy. Well, hi, Daniel. How you doing, man? I need your professional scientific opinion about something because I can see that you are the great debunker. Ah, bless your heart. You are truly a legend in your own mind. Well, actually, legends are in the minds of other people, not the person that is the legend, but thanks for the sentiment. But anyway, back to the task at hand. I showed you up the other day with visual proof of hundreds of miles of visible Earth with no curvature. No, actually, Daniel, what you did was you put up a link to J. Tolan Media One's video that I debunked a couple of months ago, where I showed that he couldn't even identify landmarks, and he was seeing exactly what was predicted by the curve calculator. But thanks for trying. You wisely backed away like a dog with its tail between its legs and never mentioned to your followers how I kicked your ass. Well, that's because you really didn't. That's neither here nor there. Now you are probably researching me so that you can make a video about me and post it to your followers to try and make me look bad. No, I'll let you do that. That isn't science, Bob. It's jealousy and stalking. Well, one, I don't know who you are, Daniel. Two, you came to my video and commented. I didn't go to yours. And three, what makes you think I care about how you feel? But let's go see what we can do. So it says, so here's my challenge. Please debunk this. If you can, I'll set myself on fire. Daniel, no, don't set yourself on fire. You know, somebody like me is going to have to take care of you if you do. And really, that's a lot of work. And quite frankly, you're not worth it. Okay, Daniel. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm your Huckleberry. Say when. Well, guys, basically what I did here was I took this video, which was from ODD TV, and I let it run completely through. It's only a five minute video, but I split the screen and put my comments and a few visuals on the other side. So I hope you enjoy. Water, when unmanipulated, is to find its level. So whether you look at a cup of water, a bathtub, a swimming pool, a lake, or the ocean, it's flat. Of course, natural motion is not considered and doesn't equal a curve. We have zero authentic pictures of the Earth and they're all composites, and NASA even admits that they Photoshop Earth images. It is Photoshopped, but it's, it's, it has to be. On numerous occasions, NASA admits that we can't go beyond low Earth orbit, which is between 99 miles and 1,200 miles away. The interesting thing is that the moon is said to be 238,000 miles away, which is a difference of 236,800 miles. No matter if you're on the ground, on top of a building, a mountain, a hot air balloon, an airplane, or looking at high altitude amateur balloon footage, the horizon never fails to rise right to your eyes. Whether you are looking at Toronto's skyline from Niagara on the lake, 31 miles away, Chicago's skyline from Union Pier, 43 miles away, or even Oahu from Kauai, which is up to 108 miles away from center to center, or 73 miles away from the closest points. You will not see any curvature where it's supposed to be. According to the Pythagorean theorem, which states that the curvature of the Earth is eight inches per mile squared, Oahu should not be visible whatsoever, but you can see the whole thing. In 1887, Albert Michelson and Edward Morley conducted what's known as the Michelson-Morley experiment this experiment was attempting to prove the speculated motion of the Earth around the Sun, and when it failed, Albert Einstein was forced to form the theory of relativity to overcome this problem. In fact, anytime mainstream science is faced with undesirable results, they create a workaround which isn't real science at all. 
the sun is claimed to be 93 million miles away, with a radius of over 400,000 miles, but can easily be proven to be much closer and smaller by tracing the crepuscular rays back to its origin in the sky. If the sun were indeed 93 million miles away, it would simply be impossible to have angled sun rays as they should all consistently come in straight. According to the globular theory, a lunar eclipse occurs when the sun, earth, and moon are in a direct line, but it is on record that since about the 15th century, over 50 eclipses have occurred while both the sun and moon are visible above the horizon. F.H. Cook, The Terrestrial Plane It's a common misconception that the shadow of the earth causes moon phases. Even the pastors and priests of the science religion readily admit this fact. The interesting thing about moon phases is that they are always the exact same eight phases repeated. But if we were circling around the sun, these eight phases would inevitably be reversed from the summer to winter seasons. I completely understand that the idea of a flattened stationary Earth seems ridiculous in many ways, but that's only because we are taught the false globe model from the very first time that we enter a school classroom. Not to mention the first time we are introduced to the concept of a flat Earth? It's depicted as a highly laughable world where ships, boats, and water would run off of the edge. So I do get it, but it's all part of the deception. I've spent 30 years of my life believing that we were on a spinning globe. It wasn't until I unbiasedly and scientifically investigated the Flat Earth claims that I started to realize that there is more to this theory than I originally gave it credit for. Now after almost two years of research, I'm certain that the Earth is flat. We are told that the Earth spins at 1,040 miles per hour while the Earth travels around the Sun at 66,000 miles per hour. Meanwhile, the whole solar system is going inside the Milky Way galaxy at a speed of 490,000 miles per hour, and finally, the entire Milky Way galaxy is darting through infinite space at over 1 million miles per hour. Most people believe this, and yet every experiment ever conducted to prove even the simple spin of the Earth has failed. The same thing goes for curvature. It's never been proven, and the only time we see it is in movies, NASA CGI, or when we're looking through a distorted fisheye lens. With all that said, please continue to research critically and don't be afraid to ask reasonable questions and speak out. Well guys, there you have it. Just another five minute video from a Flat Earth channel using the same tired Flat Earth arguments that have been debunked again and again and again. It seems that every time one of these arguments is debunked, the person that posts it waits two weeks and then goes and posts it somewhere else, hoping that perhaps the group that sees it the second time won't be the same people as the group that saw it the first time. Well, no, it's not going to work. We will catch it and we'll respond to it again. I don't have a problem doing this. I can do this all day. Now, if you want to do something useful, don't set yourself on fire. How about enroll in a course at the local community college or adult education center? How about get a library card? How about watch a TED talk or do some internet research that doesn't involve getting your science from flat earth sites? I hope that this was able to help you a little bit there, Daniel. So Thank you guys very much for stopping by. I do appreciate you coming to the channel. Um, your support is overwhelming. We're over 10, or excuse me, 11,400 subscribers now, and we're heading for 20. So if you have a second, hit that little like and subscribe button down in the lower right corner. Maybe have a look at my Twitter feed, and I'll see you very soon. This is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Y'all take care. But wait, there's more. This is something that I'm going to do periodically. Every now and then I'm going to put a little something after the closing sequence, just to see if people are still watching the video. Now, one thing that I would like to do is I would like to ask you guys to put comments down and see whether or not this is something that you'd like to see further. Would you like me to go over comments periodically? And maybe just have a look at some of these things? I know some of the other channels do them. But I think I'm going to be doing them a little bit different. So drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. 
Take care, guys.